In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for HNO3 plus NH4OH. We have nitric acid and ammonium hydroxide. So the first step with net ionic equations, we balance the molecular equation. Here, the molecular equation, it's already balanced, so that step's done. Next, we need to write the state for each substance. So when we look at nitric acid, it's one of the strong acids. That means it's going to dissociate completely. We're going to put an AQ for aqueous. When we look ammonium and the hydroxide up, ammonium hydroxide up on a solubility table, it's soluble. And we know that compounds with the ammonium ion are very soluble. Put a little AQ that will also break apart into ions. Here we have ammonium nitrate, both very soluble when they're in compounds. AQ and water is a liquid. So now we need to split the strong electrolytes into their ions for the complete ionic equation, also called the total ionic equation. Hydrogen is in group one on the periodic table. It has a one plus charge and this entire nitrate ion, it's polyatomic ion, one minus. So we have H plus plus the nitrate ion, NO3 minus. Then we have the ammonium ion, which has a charge of one plus the hydroxide, one minus. So we have NH4 plus, plus the hydroxide ion, OH minus. These are the reactants in our net ionic equation. For the products, we said the ammonium ion positive, nitric, negative. So we have NH4 plus, and then we have the nitrate ion, NO3 minus, and then water. We don't split liquids apart in net ionic equations. So that's just H2O. So these are the products. Now we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides of the complete ionic equation. So I'm looking for things that are the same in the reactants and the products. I see in the reactants have a nitrite ion in the products, cross it out. An ammonium ion right here and in the products, cross it out. What remains is the net ionic equation for HNO3 plus NH4OH. I'll clean this up and add the states in and we'll have our net ionic equation. So this is our balanced net ionic equation for nitric acid plus ammonium hydroxide. You'll notice charge is conserved. We have a positive and a negative. That cancels out. We have a neutral compound. Mass is conserved as well. One, two hydrogens here, two hydrogens here. One oxygen, one oxygen. So that's it. This is the balanced net ionic equation for nitric acid plus ammonium hydroxide. And this is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.